This morning we're going to have a look at the Book Creator app. First we need to scroll backwards and type book. B-O-O-K. You can tell that you found the Book Creator app because it's got a rainbow cover. Once you're inside the app, you can see any books that you've already made and also the guide to using the app. We're going to click up in the top left hand corners, New Book. There's three sizes we can choose from, Portrait, Square or Landscape and today I'm going to choose Landscape. We're starting off with our cover. Before we do anything else, we're going to choose the background for our cover. So we click on the little eye for information and we can choose page colour. We can pick one of the colours that's already there or else we can choose any colour in the rainbow. Once we're happy with our colour, we can go back and see what our other choices are. The next thing we're going to do is our title. Click on the two T's for text. The Sneetches. Once we're done, press done. I'm going to create another text box for the author's name. Because I'm making up the story myself, I can use my name as the name of the author. If I was going to use the whole story from Dr. Zeus, I would need to give Dr. Zeus's name as the author. Okay, I'm going to click first on my The Sneetches. You see that a blue boulder comes around it and the blue selection handles are there. That means we can edit it by clicking on the eye for information. I can make my writing much bigger. I can choose a font that I like. And I can go back and choose the colour that I would like my writing to be. I think that maybe my writing is just a little bit too big. Now I can move this selection handles to try and stretch my writing out. Oops. Again, I'd like to edit Ms. McLeod. So I click on it so it gets the blue square and the blue selection handles and I click on the eye for information. I can make my writing a little bit bigger. Shouldn't be as big as my heading because it's really just the author's name. Choose the font that I like. And a colour. Again, I can use this to stretch out the selection handle. And that will do. I'm ready to move on to my next page. So I click on the arrow over on the right hand side. Okay. This time I need to choose a background for my page. This time I'm going to choose something very mild so it doesn't interfere with the look of my book. I'm going to add a picture so I just click on the little picture and I can choose any pictures that are already on my iPad in my camera roll or if I've got a Mac in any of my events. Have a look and choose exactly which um, photo you like. You can use the selection handles to make it bigger and smaller. Once you're happy with your photo, click off it and click the text button for your writing. The star bellied snitches had their snoots in the air. If you've made a mistake, just hold your finger down on your iPad till the bubble appears and drag it along to drop the cursor exactly where you want it to be. Once you're happy with your writing, press done. I'm going to stretch mine out using the selection handles and move it down here. Okay, I do need to edit it a little bit, I'll make it a bit smaller and I'll make it a colour that's going to stand out on my background. The star-bellied snitches had their snooty in the air. It's not quite right, I need to edit it again. I just double clicked. Held down my finger so the bubble moved to where I wanted it to go and then I'm done. Now I need to record my sound so I'll click off my writing and click on the two little music notes. To start recording I'm going to press the red 
big red button and to stop recording I'm going to press the big red button. The star bellied snitches had their snoots in the air. Once you've finished re recording you'll be asked whether or not you like, do you want to use this recording, I'm going to say yes. I don't want my recording to be right in the middle of my picture so I'll move it up the top. I can click on it to check that it plays. Once I'm happy with that, I can move on to my next page. Now let me just click my check on my pages. I've actually, actually accidentally added some extra pages. So I'll press edit and I'll delete the pages that I don't need. Once I'm happy with my book, I go back to my books. And I'll see my book there, but down at the bottom it says a new book, tap to edit by an author. So I'll just click down there and give my book a name. And I'm done. I can now choose to either open my book in iBooks or if I have another iBook reading program on my iPad I can use that. I can also choose to email my book to Dropbox. Today I'm going to choose open in iBooks. An iBooks app will open and my book will appear on the bookshelf and I can read it through.